for me, if you think about my life, I don't come at it from this is no Harvard study, this is not, I'm not the engineers, the technical guys. For me, life is just kind of say, I say this, I'm the average Joe. I'm the PE major, I'm the guy, average IQ, blasting through life. But I thought a lot about life, and the biggest decision we make, I think, and when I speak is to share, you know, do we believe there's a God? Okay, so I'm gonna kind of tell you, and, and, and what I'm gonna try and approach is from a standpoint of just through common sense, I think I can prove to you that God exists. So I'm gonna try it anyway, and we'll see, what, see how it works out. Well, um, I think um, one of the most uh, important things in life for us is that belief, and I think for a lot of us, we look around the world, what's the number one thing that most people say? How could there be a God, a loving God, and we have all the bad things that happen on, on earth? You hear that all the time. You know, how's a loving God let that happen? Well, stop and think about this. When God created the world in his word, how did he say he created the world? He didn't want any of that. He put Adam and Eve in what? The Garden of Eden. He gave them the perfect place to live. There was no pain, no suffering, no disease. He gave them what? The perfect place to live. And I look at that as like you and I with our kids, okay? We would love to do what? We would love for our kids to be totally protected. You and I, we have our kids. You don't want them to go out in the world. We know what's out there because we know what? Hey, we're afraid they're gonna make mistakes. So <laughs> ultimate love is what? You don't take them and say, okay, I'm locking you in a room. <laughs> I'm gonna never let you out because I'm afraid of what's out there for you. Ultimate love says what? Hey, no, we give you freedom of choice. Now you try and school them, you talk to them, uh, you try and reason with them, you, you give them the, the, all, all the beliefs, all your wisdom that you can, and then you do what? You know, you say, okay, I'm turning them loose in the world, knowing they're probably gonna make mistakes. All right, that's ultimate love. Same thing God did. He said, Adam and Eve. He said, look, I'm not gonna put you here someplace okay, and make you a robot. He could have done that for you and I. He could have made us, he didn't say that. He said, look, I give you freedom of choice. And by doing that, he said, you can choose to follow me and have fellowship with me. They used to have walks in the garden and had fellowship with him. Or you can choose to go your own way and sin. And so therein, we have what? Adam and Eve, what did they choose? Through some rationale, they eventually said what? No, we're going to go our own way. And once they sinned, now what happened? Now everything that's bad entered the world. So I think the, the choice for you and I is what? Hey, is there a God, first of all? That's the first big decision. The second one is, am I going to follow him? <laughs> or am I going to choose to do my own thing? You hear people, I hear sports personalities all the time. I'm gonna do my own thing. You never do your own thing because what? So many people around you, your friends, your, your kids, um, your relationships, everybody's what? They're dependent on you. You never do your own thing. You're having a huge influence. Everybody in this room's having a huge influence on others around them. And the question is, what kind of an influence is that?